Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to solve the 26th problem of this month on Lead Code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now, without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. Okay, so before starting, uh, today I have solved these four problems for Lead Code Weekly Contest. Okay, so I have directly shared the solutions in these videos, okay? and the length of these videos uh, are very small, right? So I didn't uh, explain the intuition and uh, in detail. Okay, so if you guys need uh, any explanation for any of these questions, then just let me know in the comment section. I will explain uh, these problems in detail. Okay, just ping me if you want to understand any problem out of uh, these four. Okay, but if you just need the solutions, then I have provided the solutions in the my uh, YouTube channel. Okay, all these four videos are there. Uh, one, 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 two minutes videos. Okay. So now let's move forward with uh, today's question. Okay, so now let's read the problem statement. Okay, so in this problem, okay, so an attendance record for a student can be represented as a string where each character signif signifies whether the student was absent, late or present on that day. Okay, the record only contains the following three characters. So a character is representing that the student is, oh, is absent. L is representing that student is late and P is representing that student is present. Okay, so any student is eligible for an attendance award if they meet both of the following criteria. Okay, the student was absent for strictly fewer than two days total. Okay, so if student is absent zero number of days or if student is absent just one number of day, then he is eligible for the award. Okay, attendance award. Okay, strictly fewer than two days total okay the student was never late for three or more consecutive days okay so if a student is consecutive late for zero number of days if student is consecutive late for one number of days if student is consecutive late for just two number of days then he is eligible for award okay but if he is consecutively late for three number of days then he is not eligible okay if he is absent for two or more than two number of this then again he is not eligible for the award okay this is what we need to check mainly okay these two things that we need to check mainly he should not be consecutive late for three or more than three number of days he should not be absent for two or more than two number of days okay this is basically what we need to check right so we have given one integer n and we have to turn the number of possible attendance records of length n that make a student eligible for an attendance award okay so here uh, in the example one you see n is equal to 2 given to us okay so let's say this is a day one okay this is a day one let's suppose this is a day one okay there are total three possibilities for a student he could be present on this particular day he could be absent on this particular day and he could be late on this particular day okay present absent and late okay n is equal to 2 is given to us right okay n is equal to 2 given to us okay so this is for the first day first day there are total three possibilities he could be present on this particular day he could be absent on this particular day or student could be on late on this particular day okay then after that this is for day one now what about day two what about day two what about day two okay again there are total three three possibilities right again there are total three three possibilities right so here student could be present could be absent or could be late present absent or late present absent or late total three possibilities right so let's write the three possibilities if student is present if student is present and then absent if student is present and late okay here if student is present on day two if student is absent on day two, if student is late on day two, okay. If student is present on day two, if student is absent on day two, if student is on leave day two, okay. So here now tell me, okay. If student is present both days, okay, then this is a good. That I am going to give the award to this student. Wow, you are present both the days, okay. So one award here I am going to give. Okay. Here one award I am going to give here. Okay. 
this student is present one day and upset one day okay i'm good no issues let's give him a board okay we don't need absent greater than equal to two okay we don't con need consecutive leaves greater than equal to three okay this is what we don't need this is what we don't need right so i'm good here let's give him a word one day present one day late okay this is consecutive late okay one day present one day late okay let's give him a word no issues one day absent one day present let's give him a word both the days are uh, both the days absent oh no okay a should not be greater than or equal to 2. Okay, I'm not going to give him a word. Cancel it out. One day absent and one day late. Oh, good. No issues. Let's give him a word. Late present. Let's give him a word. Late absent. Let's give him a word. Consecutive days la uh, late, but only two. Okay, I'm fine. He's not three consecutive days late. I'm fine. So let's give him a word. So how many words I'm giving? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 and 8 okay total 8 1 2 3 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay 8 awards i am giving i am not giving award to this one okay who is absent both the days okay so total how many uh, numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 total 9 possibilities are there and out of these 9 possibilities i am giving award to 8 8 8 8 students right so here what is output Eight. So there are eight records with the length two that are eligible for an award. There are eight records with the length two that are eligible for an award. Right? Only A is not uh, eligible because there are two absences. There need to be fewer fewer than two. Okay. So I hope that you guys are clear how I'm driving this thing. Okay. So for so for every day there are total three possibilities. Okay. There are total three possibilities. So three. And uh, for two number of days, I'm calculating. So here, if I can write three power n, okay. So n is two, three power two is nine. Okay, so I can simply say that O of three, n is going to be my time complexity. I'm not going to, I'm not using a memo, any memorization right now. Okay, then this is going to be my time complexity. Okay, I'm checking for three cases. For every day, I'm checking total three cases. Okay, this is what's happening here, right? So I hope that you guys are clear how, with the approach that I am going to use, okay, with this explanation till now, okay. This is done. Then same way, uh, let's suppose uh, my n is equal to 3, my n is equal to 3, then for uh, n is equal to 3 now, right. So for day 1, there are again total 3 possibilities, again there are total 3 possibilities. So let's say, uh, I am checking for this case okay absent day one this student is absent okay then from here again total three possibilities are there then here I am checking again absent okay again this student again is absent okay now after that do I seriously need to check for any other possibilities do I seriously need to check for any other possibilities tell me I am checking for three days now okay this is my uh, day one if student is uh, this is day one okay day one day two and do i seriously need to check for day three like a a p a a l a a a okay do i seriously need to check no because from here it is clear that this uh, this is going to return me zero right because a is greater than equal to two and we don't need absence more than Two, right we don't need absents more than or equal to two right only one absent is fine but we don't need uh, we don't need absent is two or greater than two okay so why do i need to check these uh, possibilities i don't need to check all these possibilities so simply from here i am just going to return zero okay there are no possible cases after this okay so now right now i am going to delete all these scenarios okay i'm not going to check further right right so i hope that this this one more point is clear okay this is also going to help us in reducing some time complexity okay okay so what i'm going to here i am checking for basically i am checking for this absents and lates only now i don't need absents greater than equal to two i don't need leaves consecutive leaves greater than equal to three okay if 
anywhere I have found these two things then from there I am simply going to return okay I don't need to check further I am simply going to return 0 because there are no there are no eligible uh, conditions that I am going to get okay so I am not going to get any eligible records okay where I am going to give an award okay so I hope that this line is clear right so this is going to be one of my base case okay if my absent is greater than equal to 2 or my late consecutive consecutive late is greater than equal to 3 then I am simply going to return 0 okay this is done and uh, here one more thing if my n is equal to uh, 1 this is a uh, 3 or only 3 cases a b l okay all 3 are okay so if okay this is done okay okay this is done this is done this is done then after that uh, I am simply just going to call one method okay I am simply going to call one method okay calculate the records okay I have just uh, calculated the records now so I am going to just uh, call one method calculate records calculate records and in this I am going to pass number of days for which number for number of days that I want to check and I am here calculating the number of offsets okay this is what basically I need to check number of offsets and number of consecutive leaps okay initially I'm going to pass this only this thing okay so now let's write the code and line by line I'm also going to explain what is going to happen okay so let me zoom this screen okay so here from here let's just call let's just call one method okay return calculate records I am calling this method in this method I am passing my n number of absents number of consecutive leaves initially I am going to start from 0 okay I don't need absents greater than equal to 2 I don't need need consecutive leaves greater than equal to 3 okay so now let's define this uh, method okay so for that I am going to write private int calculate records and here pass int n and uh, for absents uh, simply write okay let's write it full okay for better understanding int absents and here int uh, late consecutives right late consecutive okay late consecutive okay so inside this few base conditions right if my absent is greater than equal to 2 or late consecutives okay late consecutive is greater than equal to 3 then in that case we are going to simply return 0 okay you guys are already aware of this right this is this is done then after that okay this is done now after that do one thing okay so if uh, if student is absent okay if student is absent okay then uh, I, I am again going to call this method okay I am again going to call this method and if student is absent okay if student is absent okay so now see what I am going to do here let's uh, give it okay instead of n let's give it days left okay for better understanding days left let's name it like this days left okay this is the days left so if student is up absent okay so definitely I am checking for a particular day okay so I have to decrement the count of days left days left okay I have decremented the count of days left by one okay now if student is absent then definitely I have to increment my absents okay I have to increment the absent for that particular student if student is absent okay and late consecutive uh, let's keep it what let's keep it our my late consecutive as student is only absent huh? so let's keep it zero okay let's keep it zero only okay this is done so here let's name it int with absent okay with the absent how many ways are there int with 
absent how many ways are there if student is absent okay so i have to calculate the number of ways now so here if student is absent on day one then the, how many ways are there okay the, again there are total three ways now so for first case there are total three possibilities okay i have already checked for upset if student is absent okay if student is late i am saying that if student is late so in uh, with late how many possibilities are there if student is just late with the late so again i am going to call this method calculator records okay now definitely i have to decrement the day okay uh, if it is only late now so i don't need to do here anything okay student is only late okay so in absence i am just going to pass absence okay and here instead of zero i am going to pass late consecutive plus one okay this is done if student is present if student is present then again i have to check different possibilities okay int with the present if student is present then again call the same method okay call the same method definitely i have to decrement the days left okay i have absence and here late consecutive plus one i have to make it zero okay this is done okay so absence we are counting every time now absence should not be greater than or equal to two absence should not be greater than or equal to two okay so i have to keep track of absence here every time okay but here in case of late consecutive it should be consecutively right consecutively if i don't find anywhere uh, if let's say on day two student is absent then my l will become zero okay i don't need to keep track of late consecutives here so that is why here see i am passing zero if he is absent i am passing zero if he is present okay only if he is consecutively late okay then i am only i adding it plus one okay so here uh, let's say this is one record okay so student is present student is late late present late present okay so here present okay student is present okay student is late one this value become two then here p then here my l become zero again okay here i am talking about l here l become two l become one here l is zero so now from here again l is going to start from one okay so i hope that this is clear why i am giving here absent 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 here and here i am giving zero zero okay this is done this is done now one base condition if my days left is equal to zero okay if days left is equal to zero then i have to just simply return one now right just simply return one okay i am just giving one word okay go ahead okay so here now days left is zero and i i haven't found any of these things okay uh I haven't found these two conditions. Okay, my a is not greater than equal to two, or my consecutive late is not greater than equal to three. Then I am just going to simply return one now. So here I have given this condition. This is done, and in the end, we have to just return what we have to just return this with the absent plus with the late plus. With the present, okay. This is what we need to return. Total three possibilities, right? Total three possibilities. Okay. This is done. Let me decrement the size. Here, one more thing. One more thing here. The answer may be very large, so return it modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Okay. Let's do it. No issues. Let's do it as well. Okay. So here, right? Private. Final int mode is equal to 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7, right? So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is done. Then after that, this is done. Here uh, I'm counting with absent now. Okay, I'm counting with absent. Okay, so let's do one hit here. Uh, okay, let's write here mode M O D. Okay, same way here M O D 
and same thing here okay i haven't done uh, memoization yet okay i will do it after some time mode okay this is done and here this is my result okay so if these two values are very large with the percent and i am adding with the percent plus with the late okay if these two values becomes very large so let's take the mode of them as well okay so here i am taking mode of uh, this one right mod and for all this whole okay this mode and then with present okay uh, let's do one thing here for this one as well okay here this one and this one let's again write the same thing and now if uh, let's run it but definitely it is going to fail i think for my test case number 3 but let's run it so see i am getting time limit exceeded error for this test case okay this value is very large right so for this i am getting this output okay time limit exceeded error that i am getting okay if i delete this test case let's see i'm just running it okay for other test cases so see right now my solution is accepted right but for test case number 3 i am getting this issue right for test case number 3 that is nothing but this n is equal to 101 okay for this test case i am getting time limit exceeded error okay so now we need to use memoization okay so now we have to use memoization okay so let's do it at let's do that okay so here let's create a 3d array okay because there are total three values that are changing uh, my days left value is changing absent value is changing late consecutive value is changing so let's create a one 3d array right private memo is equal to new int okay now here uh, see here n value is from 1 to 10 to the power 5 okay so let's give it 1 1 2 3 4 5 okay this is done and here uh, every time i am not considering the case where my absents are reaching greater than or equal to 2 okay every time uh, i am not considering those cases where my consecutive late value is greater than or equal to 3 okay so here absents could be 0 and 1 late consecutive could be 0 1 and 2 only okay so for absents i am going to give the size as okay total two possibilities 0 or 1 okay these are the two things that i am checking if it is greater than equal to 2 then i am just simply returning 0 okay so total two possibilities are there right 0 and 1 okay so here i am writing 2 for late consecutives there are total three possibilities 0 1 and 2 okay if it is 3 or greater than 3 then i am simply returning okay so size i am giving here 3 okay so i hope that this line is clear this is done okay now after that initially let's fill all the values in this memoization as minus 1 okay so here in this place let's run one loop okay 3d loop int i is equal to 0 i is less than 1 1 2 3 4 and i is increment i then inside that let's run one j loop int j is equal to 0 and there are total two cases for absence that i am considering 0 or 1 right so here i am writing j is less than 2 j plus plus again one more nested loop for int k is equal to 0 k is less than 3 okay k is less than 3 total three uh, i am considering cases for 0 1 and 2 consecutive dates okay not 3 and more than 3 then k plus plus okay this is done Uh, okay right then let's fill the values in memo i j k it should be let's fill initially let's fill minus 1 okay so here let's write 
i j and k okay i am doing the memoization right now okay this is done this is done now after that here i am just going to check one condition okay but here one more thing okay let's uh, give this table let you fill the fill my memoization side by side okay i am returning this this result now so let's fill the, fill this let's fill this result in the memoization okay so here i am but i am going to do right done memo is equal to okay in the memo i am just passing this value okay and memo what there are total three values right in memo what are the three values in memo one is days left okay memos days left absents and late consecutives okay i am storing the result in this memo every time whenever i am returning okay so here i am writing one base condition if if this memo day left absent and late consecutive value okay if this value is not equal to my initial value okay that is minus 1 that simply means that there is no result is not equal to minus 1 okay if it is not equal to minus 1 that simply means that i have already got the value for this result okay then i am just simply going to return simply going to return i don't need to resolve further because i have already stored the result here okay in this place okay this is done right this is done now let's try to run the code and see if there are any code issues let's run it so see now all the test cases has been accepted right all the test cases has been accepted right we have successfully implemented the memoization right now let's submit the code so see our solution is accepted right our solution is accepted okay so here one thing without memoization for every case there are total three possibilities now if my n is equal to 2 then how many result that i was getting okay so here i have explained okay so this was my time complexity of 3 raised to power n this was my time complexity without memoization okay now with with memoization what is happening let's see with memoization what is happening okay okay with memoization my time complexity is going to be o of n and why because i have restricted okay how many absent is i am checking how many absents that i am checking here see total absent cases i am checking just two now how many uh consecutive late cases and that i am checking total three right zero one and two right and uh how many days left max days of left is uh, this 10 to the power 5 right something like that so let's give it n what is my n plus 1 okay so this is nothing but n plus 1 now right this value n plus 1 okay with memorization i am only checking for these possibilities now because here see uh, somewhere i have explained that yeah see here if my a reaches 2 and greater than 2 then i am not considering all these cases right i am treating all these scenarios all these possibilities i am treating right okay so there is one common word that uh, we say to such things right that is pruning okay just search it what is pruning okay pruning is a technical term that we give to such things okay so now when my a is greater than or equal to 2 then i am not considering any other possibilities okay so here my time complexity now we have reduced now initially total 3 raised to power n times that we are checking now i am uh, not checking for these cases or and where i am getting three consecutive leaves then i am also not considering there those cases so this time my time complexity is going to be o of n into n plus 1 into 2 into 3 or n o of n into n plus 1 or simply we can say o of n this is going to be my time complexity okay and same way my space complexity is also going to be same o of n only okay since uh, we are just filling uh, all these values in memorization n plus 1 2 
and 3 only these values that are we are filling now so of n plus 1 into 2 into 3 is going to be just give me in shortcut o of n okay simply I can say o of n is going to be my space complexity as well okay so both my time complexity both my time complexity and space complexity becomes o of n with memoization with memoization okay so I hope that you guys are clear with this recursive and memoization approach okay so now let's move to the approach to okay so approach to is going to be my bottom up approach okay so I hope that you guys are able to understand this recursive and memoization approach okay so let me do one thing here let me just copy the code okay so this is my code right so using this same code okay I am going to solve this problem using bottom up approach okay so now initially here let's define basic things that we need to write in our code that is int mode and give the value as 10 raised to over 9 plus 7 so 1 0 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay this is done and memo table we have to use okay we are already aware of this okay size is going to be 3 int memo table right and here new int let me increment the size okay size is very small new int and here you guys are already aware here I am giving 2 here I am giving 3 okay and here I have to write 1 2 3 4 5 okay this is done this is the base things okay now after that let's write one loop okay in this loop for int absence is equal to 0 okay so this is the base condition my when my days left is equal to 0 okay when my day le days left is equal to 0 okay then in that case if my absent okay I am talking about the case when days left is equal to 0 okay so now I am going to write this base condition okay if my days left is equal to 0 okay so if my days left is equal to 0 this is the base condition that I am going to write now okay so if the absent number is less than Or equal to one okay this thing and if the late consecutive okay I am going to use same variables okay late consecutive is equal to zero and it should be less than it should be less than equal to two right and late consecutive plus plus okay so for these base conditions I am filling my memo okay memo okay so here uh, four days left is equal to zero okay so this is a base case for base case for days left as 0 okay so here I am writing 0 and here absent okay and here late consecutive okay if this is the case then simply just what we are doing uh, previously we are just returning 1 now so here I am also writing returning 1 okay is equal to 1 okay this is clear okay so I have filled these values okay I have filled these values in my memo okay in my memo I have filled these values in my memo I have filled these values that is nothing but memo 0 let's say if my absence is 0 and consecutive days uh, leave 0 then I fill this value as 0 okay I have set this values, right memo of 0 if my absent is 1 and this is 0 then also this is 1 
then so I have written all these values right this is done I have pasted all this here okay I have written all these values right so now after that okay this is a base case for days left is as zero okay this is done then after that uh, let's write for the day from days left one to n okay this is what I have to write now okay so total three values are changing right total three values are changing right in memoization total three values are changing right that is going to be my uh, days left my days left uh, absent and late okay consecutive loops three values are changing so let's write three uh, three nested loops right for int days left is equal to one and how many times I'm going to run you guys are already clear I don't need to actually tell this right days left should be less than equal to n right and days left plus plus this is done then inside that I have to run my nested loops right right simply I can just do it copy it now why to waste time okay consecutive loops that I am going to run and here for these two I have to write this as well now okay this is done let me format the code is it done or not okay so now it's done now it's looking good right so this loop ends here this loop ends here this loop ends here right okay now after that inside this okay now see post clearly what is going to happen here so first store first let's create one variable long result okay in this i'm going to store the result okay long result and here in my memo okay long result in my memo uh, initially let's store the value okay so what is the value that I'm going to store so first uh, thing is that I have to decrement the value of days left minus one okay days left minus one okay and here absents here I have to keep track of this absence now and here consecutive uh, leaves okay so here I have to add zero I have already explained why I was doing this okay why I was writing here zero and here absents every time absents absent here I was writing zero only when uh, he's late then I'm writing date consecutive plus one okay so this thing is already clear right so in this result I have stored this value so okay so what is the value that I'm storing right now in my result days left minus one okay starting from one memo zero absent is zero and zero it is starting so I am initially my result is one okay base condition I am getting this result okay just calculate uh, this now so here from here I have already got this value okay I am decrementing the value now this is done then after that after that in the result okay in the result if okay in the in the result if he is consecutive late then what is going to happen okay so in the recursive and memoization approach if he is consecutive late then I am using this thing now so now again again we're going to use the same thing okay if he's late I am again going to use the same thing so let's see how I'm going to use it okay in the result I have to increment the value the result is equal to result plus memo memo okay three values in my memo I have to uh, decrement this value days left minus one okay I have to keep track of this absence right and if he is late if he is late then late consecutive plus one okay okay and also here one more thing okay this is what I need to do right this is what I need to do here right if he is uh, 
let's say if I say that if he is absent then what is going to happen so again I am just going to copy paste the same line now. just copy paste the same line now in this case absent is going to be absent plus one and here I have to just give zero now if he is absent then consecutive is going to become zero if he is present or if he is absent no other than uh, pre other than late consecutive okay this is the case right so here one more thing okay every time here I am doing late consecutive plus one late consecutive plus one this is what I am doing right late consecutive plus one so here let's write the one base condition now let's write one thing here that my last consecutive should be less than two now only then otherwise it, it may go out of bound okay if it is less than two then this is going to happen otherwise I'm just going to add zero okay so here what I'm writing late consecutive okay late consecutive should be less than two okay it should be less than two okay here I am adding absent now here I am adding absent so my absent should be zero okay so here I am going to write this is going to happen if not then I have to just return zero okay so this is the base thing my absent is equal to zero and then only I can add one more absent now then only I, I can add one more cent if one absent is already there okay see here I am adding these things in my result now I am adding this thing in my result right if let's say this let's see this case okay if my absent is already one okay if it is not zero if it is already one then next time I why I need to do a right uh, in my result I have to add this okay I don't need to add any value in my result where my absent becomes two okay if it is zero then I can just add one absent and then add that into my result otherwise no if my consecutive leaves is less than two okay there are total two cases now there are total three cases for consecutive leaves: zero one and two okay if it is less than two then I'm good then I can add one more okay but if it's not then I don't need to execute that okay this is done this is clear then in the end okay in the end in the memo okay just write all these things what is uh, days left absent and late consecutives is equal to int and let's do the mode of whatever result that we are getting the result okay this is done this is done right and in the end we have to just return we have to just return memo of n zero zero this is what we have to return right and zero zero okay so this is what we are returning now in the end and zero zero okay so I have added we are only adding the th uh, result okay we are only adding the those results where my absent is less than equal to two and my consecutive leaves uh, should be less than equal to three only for these two cases I am adding those th things in my uh, result right so I hope that this thing is clear now let's run it and see if there are any core issues yes uh, line number 18 so let's try to fix it memos okay where is the semicolon let's run it again and see if there are any other issues here spelling mistake absent it should be absent any other here also it should be absent okay line number 13 error cannot find symbol okay let's fix it let's go to it absent and here it should be absent and 
anything else let's see let's run it oh i haven't i haven't changed i changed it now okay here also absence line number 13 i forgot okay absence okay let's run it again so see all the test cases has been accepted now let's submit it So see our solution is accepted right so here also time complexity is also going to be of n only okay so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem uh, today we have solved this problem using uh, two approaches one is recursive and memoization and one is bottom approach right i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video and don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel okay thank you bye bye